And uh, of course, I recall with joy when you came up on social media with your um, daughter sending that Easter message out there. You stated categorically that you were the member of parliament for Dom Kwabinya. That's what you said. But you were silent on whether or not you're still the gender minister. Uh, do you still consider yourself as gender minister of the Republic of Ghana? That is so petty. I didn't even know this. <laughs> because, um, you know, um, there's a difference in our, um, with government, uh, the executive power and the parliamentary duty that I have. And at that time I had sent out things that I had to send out to the religious leaders in my constituency. And so that video definitely was for the constituents. And so I restricted myself to the people of Dominic Padena. And as the president of the Republic, he will wish the whole country. So that's the difference. And that's the reason why <laughs> you didn't yeah, hear me mention. Right. But, but even the seat that you hold, the Dominic Padena <laughs> seat, is under siege, as some are describing it. You're indicating to us that at least you've not been served. Uh, the committee may go ahead and pass whatever sanction it is that they intend to do. Are you not worried that you may lose the Dom Kwabinya seat, particularly as the Speaker of Parliament, who even belongs to another political party, could simply go ahead and say you've breached the 15-day rule and then go ahead to declare your seat as vacant? I am not worried because I am very, very prayerful, and I don't believe only in the physical. I also believe in the spiritual. And I know my Lord knows exactly why I am not there, and he's going to fight my battle. So